Welcome to Maintaining Wellbeing, Session 1. In this session, we will be looking at how we can maintain wellness during this time. Our focus will be connection. Before we begin, press pause and grab a pen and paper. As most of us will be keeping a physical distance from others, or maybe self-isolating, what can we do to try and keep in contact with others and maintain those all important connections that keep us well? Although this is a challenging time for most, perhaps we can use this time to make those connections even stronger by supporting each other or by reconnecting with those we may have lost contact with. People we know. Take a few moments now to think of those people in your life you know or you might like to reconnect with. Consider friends, family, neighbours, colleagues and acquaintances. Make a list writing down their names. You may like to press pause here to take some time to create your list. Hopefully you have a few names on your list. Of course you can continue to add people to your list at any time or as and when you remember. ways of making contact. Now let's consider five or six ways we can make contact and communicate with others. For example, make a telephone call. Write down some of your ideas now. Again, you might like to press pause. Okay, great. Here are some of the ideas we came up with. Video call, Skype, FaceTime or Zoom. Text, WhatsApp or Messenger. Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram or Facebook. Email or write a letter. Or talk to someone keeping a safe distance, at least two metres apart. Identify your chosen means of communication. Whatever device or medium you have available to you, choose a few different ways you would like to communicate with others. You may wish to highlight these on your list. For example, telephone call, email, letter, Skype, and Instagram. Making contact. Now let's go back to the list of people you know. Here we're going to decide how and when you would like to contact them this week. For example, your list might look something like this. Mum and Dad telephone call on Monday. Sister Skype on Tuesday. Beth email on Wednesday. John write a letter on Thursday. And so on. Things to remember. Don't worry if the people you know are few or that you don't have too many ways to communicate. The important thing 
is we make a daily or weekly plan to communicate with others to reduce feelings of isolation. Taking action. Now that you have your list of names, together with how and when you will contact them, why not make a start now? Maybe you could put pen to paper, start a text, or pick up the phone. The idea is that we keep going with our plan for the coming weeks. You can keep the same list or you can change it around. So you can add new people or increase the contact or change the means of contact. One final thought. Make this difficult time an opportunity to connect often with your loved ones, friends, neighbours, or anyone you think might be alone right now. We hope you found this session useful and that you will be able to use your plan from today and in the coming weeks. Our next workshop, Maintaining Wellbeing Session 2, will focus on learning and keeping our brains active at this time. We look forward to seeing you again soon.